<laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> good morning, little fellas. Or good evening, or good afternoon. We're playing another game where your computer tries to eat you. Some of you weren't fortunate enough to be around back in the Windows 98 days, Windows XP, Windows Vista days, where you had the clunkiest, goofiest features, and then on top of that, every single thing you downloaded was a virus. Like, if you've ever seen the Basically Homeless video where he installs a thousand viruses, that's what uh, my... PC always looked like random gorillas flying around the screen. Now it's just Chinese Bitcoin miners. Where did where did the beauty go of having a butterfly stuck on your screen until you had to throw away your computer? <gasps> Ooh, baby. We're home. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition. Okay, this is like this is full on Windows XP, Windows Vista vibes. You have a couple things. Restart computer. Da, da, there's a tree. Cute little background. Can I change the background? Let's go to the photo gallery. Okay, we got the boys. Ah, Jesus Christ, it's a loud clicking sound. Some dice? Some burbs? The frack. Oh, whoa, what? What? God damn! I'm not, I wasn't ready for that. This quick? 749? What the fuck? What are you looking at? Oh, god damn. It won't even let me change my background. Wait, what's this? No, not that. Hey, today's sponsor is Raycon. And if you haven't already heard, Raycon's been taking over the earbud scene, giving everybody great sound at an affordable price. These wireless earbuds have a whopping 32 hours of battery life for you to enjoy. They also have seamless Bluetooth pairing, and their compact design makes for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Raycon offers their earbuds in a variety of fun colors and patterns. I have weird ears, nothing fits, but each pair comes with a plethora of different sizes. You can even use the earbud tap function to toggle between different customizable sound profiles, including noise isolation and awareness mode. Raycon's been supporting your boy for like four years now. It's a product that I actually like. I even just have multiple pairs just sitting at my desk. For the sound that you get at the price, you can't beat it! All right, these bad boys are gonna come in handy this summer when I'm battling the Gator Crusade in my backyard. But I also use them whenever I'm doing any other random juicy antics or things, but mostly for when I battle alligators in my backyard. And for anybody looking to try them, but you're unsure, they have a 30-day return policy. So if you want to check them out, the link in the description or the link on my forehead, buyraycon.com forward slash big juicy. Get 15% off your order. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring me for so long, being my dear friend. Back to the memes. All right, well, goddamn bitch. I guess, can we play a little game? Is this a game? Dream Studios. Hi, kids. I'm Jumping Julian. Hi, Jumping Julian. Hello there. My name is Julian. Oh, and I'm very happy you are playing with me. I love when people play with me. Okay, that's, that's hot. To help me make that's hot. Way up to the top. Have fun. I will play. I'll play with your little Julian. I'll play with. <laughs> Woohoo! Hiya! Damn, Julian, you got hops, my guy. Oink. Let's get the little flag. Dude, this takes me back. Yeah, yeah give me that. Now I'm to the next level. <laughs> this looks a bit tougher. But I should make it through. Uh, it's, it's easy work for a chimp like me. All right, Julian. Yeah. Come on, big guy. This is the big jump. Yeah. Yes. Nailed it. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Now this looks challenging. Ooh. I can do this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, big guy. You got the hops. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Dude, the music. The music. It's too early for this fucking music, dude. Go, go, da! Julian, you fucking milk carton bitch. Get the fuck up, dude. God damn. What? I'm stuck. Oh. 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 Come on. 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 No! Why? Oh, you giving me the gamer switch, Julian. Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah! Yes! Yes! No! 
Ah, ah. Sorry, I'm working on it. I'm trying to manage my anger, okay? I'm trying not to get so angry at video games. Doctor says my blood pressure is so high that my heart's gonna pop like a water balloon. Yes. System error, fatal exception has occurred. 4865, this was called from... Maybe possible... It may be possible to continue normally. Press any key to continue. Shit, I crashed it. I crashed the operating system. Ow! Fuck! Oh, something just fell on my foot. Oh, okay, log back in. Owie, owie, ow! Is there more levels of Jumping Julian? Shit, it won't even let me play Jumping Julian anymore. Julian, what are you doing? What are you doing on my desktop? A problem has occurred, but do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. Sick! All right. Get back in your little program. Quit roaming around, you little weirdo. I do have something to ask. Yeah, what do is it? Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? It's something I've really been thinking about. Well, anyway, let's play the game. Just gonna hit me with that? What the fuck? You're just gonna hit me with the do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? Finally, a brand new challenge. This should be fun. Finally, a brand new challenge. This should be fun. What's the new challenge? Oh, I kind of want to get hit by one. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's meaty. All right, just go, 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 go. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Oh boy, here comes a real challenge. Let's do this. All right, let's go, big guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on! Stop it! God damn it, dude. The sound effect's so good. Where did it come from? <laughs> Julian, my guy, this is impossible. I didn't know I was playing fucking Dark Souls. I thought I was playing Jumping Julian. God! Go. What? Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next oh. level. The end is near, and yet so far... Can it get me through the uh, the platform right here? Yes, it can. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no! Dude, that ah! the little the slide off the corner. Come on, come on, Julian. Okay, come on, big guy, you got this. God, he looks like he's... <laughs> he looks like he just got caught eating his own shit, literally. Why does he look like that? Okay. No! Why? 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 God damn it, why? Again? A fatal exception has occurred. It may be possible to continue like normal. What the fuck? Why is it? It keeps crashing. Don't even tell me that there's a new challenge. Okay, we're done. I want to. Oh, we're done. We're done with jumping Julian for right now. I need a jumping Julian fucking break. Okay, let's look through. I don't know. Let's let's do something relaxing like paint. What the fuck? I just want to paint. No, 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 no. Julian? Do you ever wonder why death happens? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. Self illusion. You must die. You must die. You must die. You must die. Smiley face. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Come on, Julian. What the fuck? Dude, what is this guy? What is this guy's problem? He's just obsessed with death. What are they doing to you in here, Julian? Oh, thank God. Paint works. Okay. I'm going to draw something. It's really hard to draw. There's no bucket tool. Hey, what's that in the background? Something actually just popped up in the background. Wait, get rid of that.
Is this the answers to the other game? Wait, let me get my let me get my chalkboard. Okay, uh circle, triangle, circle, diamond, circle, diamond, square, diamond. Nice. Okay. Okay, enough painting. Enough painting. Let's go to the puzzle patterns. Match all the shapes. Did you see something there? Wait, am I actually just having a stroke? I swear I saw something in the bottom right. Okay, well, let's put in that pattern that it showed us in the paint. Diamond square. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! QR code! QR code! Ah! I got it. Ah. What the hell, dude? What? This is not, this is a fun little fucking computer game, goddammit! I think I shit myself with that one. That one was quick. Oh my god. What does this QR code mean? My one bar of LTE is just struggling right now. And what is Julian up to, dude? Julian's definitely the, the, the fucking enemy in this. Okay, we got the QR code up and it seems like it's a secret video. So that guy was the developer Jumping Julian, and he said a, mind's a, a human mind's a lot like a computer chip. So I think what we have here is he designed Jumping Julian too well. Now Jumping Julian has feelings, and he's horny. He's dangerously horny. Do we have any new photos? I, I Oh, f***ing. I'm not doing that again. You could f***ing eat my ass. No new photos. Okay, but we got some other stuff. Let's go through the documents. Uh, this just talks about the Calvis family. Which I think is the developer that made the Jumping Julian game. I'm writing to a concerned parent regarding my son. His increasing addiction to your games as game studios strive to make high quality games. I believe you value the well-being of your players and I'm reaching out to seek support and guidance. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the exceptional quality of the video game developed by Calvis Gaming. Okay, so right off the bat, suck in the dev's dick. The immersive experiences and captivating gameplay have undoubtedly contributed to my son's deep engagement and enjoyment. However, it has come to my attention that his gaming habits have started to interfere with his daily life and overall well-being. It's the type of note my mom would have wrote to, like, Valve when I was on TF2 trade servers for eight hours a day in middle school. I've noticed a significant decline in his academic performance, reduced social interactions, and a lack of interest in other activities that were important to him. Sounds like he's a gamer to me, lady. Through and through. Additionally, he's displaying signs of restlessness and irritability be when he is unable to play your games. These concerning behaviors have led me to believe with a three. Really? Really, lady? You're trying to get in tune with the cool kids. Get in tune with the cool kids. That his attachment to your games will be turning into an unhealthy addiction. As a responsible game studio, I kindly request your addressing the issue. I understand that parental control and guidance play a crucial role in managing my son's gaming habits, but I believe that the involvement and support of Calvin Games could make a significant difference. I am hopeful that together we can promote a healthier, more balanced approach to gaming. I appreciate your attention to this matter and look forward to hearing from you soon. Should you require any additional information or wish to discuss this matter further, please do not hesitate to contact me at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your understanding and support. Are, are we playing the same games, lady? You're telling me your son's getting addicted to jumping Julian? Imagine if you fed that kid Black Ops 2. It'd be like giving a fucking caveman a bang energy drink. What's the third one? Dear Merez team, which I believe is the, the OS, is the OS uh, developer. I'm writing to express my heartfelt gratitude for the new addition you have implemented in your desktop software. The feature where pressing the enter key recognizes the desktop, reorganizes the desktop, has made a significant positive impact. Whoa, okay. As someone who frequently works on my desktop and finds it cluttered with multiple files and icons, the simple act of pressing enter now brings a sense of order and efficiency to my workflow. Your thoughtful implementation has saved me precious time that I used to spend manually arranging and organizing my, my desktop. I don't organize my desktop at all and I save everything to desktop. My computer is fucking, it's terrible. The convenience and effectiveness of this feature has not only improved my productivity, but has also enhanced my overall satisfaction with using Merez's software and my performance in bed with women. It is evident that your team strives to create user-centric solutions that simplify and optimize our digital lives. I commend your dedication to continuous improvements 
and your commitment to providing a seamless user experience. The Innovative Edition has exceeded my expectations with an eight, and I'm grateful for the positive impact it's had on my daily routine. Once again, thank you, blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, so far we have two codes. The one in the picture of the guy going, and the one that is hidden in these. Now, if we go to this first one, I bet you we're going to find some sort of leet speak word in here with a letter in the goddamn motherfucking thingy m m majig. Uh, there it is. Five. Understanding five. Five, three, and eight. So we have two codes, which might mean two secrets. Five, three, eight. We're going to hit the button. Oh, God, we're going to hit the fucking button. Okay, it's a new file. Subject incident report breaking and disturbance at Greenwood Cemetery. On February 18th, 1999, at approximately 12.34 a.m., a, a break-in and disturbance was reported at Greenwood Cemetery. I responded to the call and arrived at the scene approximately 1.36 a.m. Damn, it took you a fucking hour? An hour response time? Upon arrival, I met the reporting party who stated that they witnessed an individual breaking into the cemetery and digging up graves. It was Jumping Julian. He was digging up graves and he was sucking on the toes of all the bodies. He was sucking, there was a line of corpses as far as you could see, all their toes sucked clean, bodies rotting and filthy, but clean, immaculate, pristine, lavish toes. The witness reported that they immediately called emergency services, but before the authorities arrived, the suspect fled the scene on foot, comically jumping and staring at the police, escaping any apprehension. Investigation and actions taken. Upon arrival at the scene, I conducted a preliminary investigation. I observed that exactly two disturbed grave sites where soil had been dug up indicated recent disturbance. I also interviewed the witness and gathered relevant information regarding the suspect's physical appearance and direction of escape. They said that he looked... They described him as having the build of a Minecraft Steve, whatever that means. I conducted a thorough search of the surrounding area, but due to the suspect's timely escape, I was unable to locate and apprehend them. However, I ensured the preservation of the crime scene, collecting potential evidence such as footprints, tool marks, and other trace evidence that could aid in the investigation. I also contacted the Greenwood Cemetery staff and informed them of the incident. They provided access to the cemetery records and indicate their willingness to cooperate fully in the investigation. CCTV footage from nearby surveillance cameras is being reviewed to identify any additional evidence related to the incident. Conclusion? The incident at Greenwood Cemetery involved a break in disturbance where an individual was seen digging up graves. Despite immediate response, immediate response, my fucking ass, despite a snail response of about one hour in the search efforts, the suspect managed to escape prior to apprehension. The investigation is ongoing and all available evidence is being processed and analyzed to identify the suspect to bring them to justice. This report serves as initial documentation of the incident. Any further developments, evidence, or witness statements will be added to this report as the investigation progresses. Okay? So someone, jumping Julian, was digging into grave sites and macking on the dead bodies. Also jumping Julian. Julian, I want to see what happens if I press the enter button. I heard that something crazy will happen. It just moved documents a little bit. <laughs> what? All it did was slightly move documents. Oh, I can move these around. Okay. Sick. What if I put all the programs in the tree? What will happen then? Will it ever be the same? I cannot move photo gallery. Okay, listen. Listen, fellas. We gotta do it. 749. 749, we got another document. Why am I doing this the hardest possible way? Why? Why did I do it like that? Nice. Another document. More reading. Subject, police report. Fatal car crash caused by drunk driver description of the incident on august 12th 1998 it's the year i was born a tragic car accident occurred the accident involved two vehicles a blue sedan driven by a mother and a black pickup truck driven by a man in his 30s according to the eyewitness the truck was traveling at a high speed and swerving across lanes prior to the collision boozing and cruising chilling and grooving having a good time the blue sedan carrying a mother and her daughter was proceeding in the correct lane when the truck abruptly collided with it from the side as a result of the collision, both the mother and her daughter sustained critical injuries. Emergency medical services were immediately dispatched to the scene, and the victims were transported to the hospital. Fortunately, despite the efforts of the medical personnel, both the mother and her daughter succumbed to their injuries at the hospital and were pronounced deceased. Upon investigation, it was determined that the driver of the black truck was under the influence of alcohol at the time of the accident. 
Standardized field sobriety tests and breathalyzer tests indicated a significantly high blood alcohol content, surpassing the legal limit. This guy was illegally drunk. That's how drunk he was. The suspect exhibited signs of impairment, including slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and odor of alcohol on their breath. Once you get past five or six beers, your keys start to glow gold. It's like a rare pickup, legendary item. He, su he succumbed to the intrusive thoughts. They were charged with multiple offenses, including vehicular manslaughter, driving under the influence, and reckless driving. Additional witnesses, including those who saw the suspect consuming alcohol prior to the accident, will be interviewed to gather further evidence for the case. The tragic incident resulted in the untimely death of a mother and her daughter. The suspect was arrested and is currently in custody. Facing charges related, the suspect was arrested and is currently in custody facing charges related to the accident. Our thoughts and condolences go out to the family and friends affected by this devastating loss. The investigation into this case will continue and a comprehensive report will be prepared and submitted to the appropriate authorities for legal proceedings. So wait, this happened August 12th. When did this happen? The next year. And it was two graves. So this guy, this guy killed that mother and daughter in his drunk driving, his boozing and cruising accident. And then the two people dug up, I guarantee you, I guarantee you it was the mother and daughter. It had to have been. That's crazy. What the fuck? Anyways, let's play Blue Popper. Mew, Calvis Games. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is sick. I used to love these games. Oh, double ball? Triple ball? Ah! This game rocks! I love 98XX! Kelvin Games, you're the best! I love popping balloons! <laughs> Wait, level 1-4? How do I- how do I keep going? Get, I wanna go to the next level, Chief! I'm ready! Hey! Hey, where'd my little balls go? Hey! Whoa, what's the music doing? The music's looping. Hey, hey, maybe I'm all out of balls, man. What the fuck? What's going on over here? Just give me my fucking balls back. Man, I gotta restart it. Really? You're gonna make me restart fucking... God damn it. I'm not even mad. I fucking love this game. All right, level five, baby. Oh, the ball's speeding up a lot. Whoa. Hey. Wow. How many goddamn levels of balloon poppers there? Jesus Christ. Oh my God, the ball's freaking flying now. Like there has to be an end, right? Dude, the ball is absolutely zooming now. Level 10 done! Yes! Woo, woo, woo. I don't know when it goes to level 2. We're still on level 1. Why? 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 It fucking crashed again! No! I'm gonna see what happens if you actually lose. Because I think you're supposed to lose to get to level 2. Something's telling me. Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Get out of here! Get out of here! Hit him with the ball! Ah! <laughs> Oh! My heart, my heart can't take much more. 
There's a video player? Oh, I have no videos installed. Inst how the f do I install a video? All right, well, what else do we have to look through still? We got... We've looked through all these. Let's uh, look at the questions and answers game. Do you like to play games? <laughs> yes. Do you think it's important to take breaks when playing too much? No. Do you think video games will take over the world? Yes. Have you played this game before? No. Are you sure you're playing a game? No. Do you know what reality is? Yes. Are you close with your family? The fuck? Yes. Do you think even loved ones could hurt each other? Yes, Julian. I do. If someone were to get in a fatal accident, would the death be painful? Yeah. People who do not repent of their sins are condemned. Uh, I mean, if that's, 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 if that's your book, then yeah. Do you believe everything I say? No. You're just a funny little Roblox guy who jumps around and has existential crises every minute. Have you looked behind you? Yes. Time is short. Yes, it is. It's too late. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not too late, Julian. Oh! <laughs> Ninety-eight HT HTTPS ninety-eight X World. Julian, what was the link? God damn it! I've tried to put in the link. It disappears faster and faster every fucking time. And I entered it. I entered it. Nothing happened. We have two things left to do. Look, we'll snoop around a little bit more. But we have Surfer and Jumping Julian again. <laughs> also, reset computer. What does restart computer do? Does it change anything? Do I, need, do, do, do I have a Windows update? Pending Windows update? <laughs> okay, we're going to do Surfer. It's a web surfer. Oh my God, of course. Boys.store. Fuck. What do you mean, error? Okay, well, we have a couple websites, and then we put the XX world in. But let's go through these websites. But let's start with Merez, the actual operating system. Merez Incorporated has taken the world by storm with the launch of our newest computer, the 98XX. This cutting-edge device has been praised by tech experts and consumers alike for its ability to seamlessly run games, surf the web, and handle all other computing needs. So, how did Myrez Incorporated come to be the best computer company in the world? It all started with their partnership with Razii Incorporated, a leading software development company. Razii Incorporated provided Myrez Incorporated with the resources and expertise to create a computer that could handle the most demanding applications and provide an unparalleled user experience. The result was the 98XX, a computer that has revolutionized the industry with its lightning-fast performance and yeah, new code graphics. Gamers can now play the most demanding games with ease, while creative professionals can run complex design software without any hiccups. The 98XX is also incredibly versatile, with the ability to handle all kinds of tasks with ease. From browsing the web to video editing, this computer can handle it all. All of these factors have contributed to MyResin.S success, making them the best computer company in the world. With the launch of the 98XX, they have set a new standard for computing excellence and innovation, and their commitment to customer satisfaction ensures that they will continue to lead the industry for years to come. Okay, so it's literally just fucking... The f**k you just call me? The f**k did you do What? Did you just call me a slur? We have a new code for the documents out of it too, because there's a bunch of like little words with the with the little letters in them, the numbers. So it's just literally them blowing smoke up their own ass, like, oh god, oh yes, fuck my operating system, so fucking sexy, god, I'm fucking so horny. I wish I could, I wish my operating system was was a fuckable thing. I'd fuck it. Yeah. So let's. Who the fuck are you? Is this the guy we had the interview with? We're gonna speak these. In 1991, Bob Carter founded Razii Incorporated with a vision to revolutionize the computer chip industry. Today, his company is one of the most successful in the tech industry. Another with code! With cutting-edge chips being used in a wide range of applications, from consumer electronics to aerospace. So, what makes Razii Inc.'s chips so special? One key all comes down to their innovative design and superior performance. Razii Incorporated has developed chips that are faster, smaller, and more power efficient than anything else on the market. This has made them a go-to choice for companies looking to stay ahead of the curve in a rapidly evolving tech landscape. One of Razii Inc.'s biggest achievements has been its ability to shrink chip sizes without sacrificing performance. 
This has allowed companies to create smaller, more portable devices without compromising on computing power. Razi I has also been at the forefront of developing chips that consume less power, reducing energy usage and carbon footprints for companies and consumers alike. Another factor in Razi I Inc.'s success has been their ability to stay ahead of the competition with cutting-edge research and development. The company invests heavily in R&D, constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the world of computer chips. This has resulted in some truly groundbreaking innovations, including chips with built-in artificial intelligence and neural networking capabilities. But Radiant.S success is. is not just due to its technological innovations. The company has also made a name for itself by prioritizing customer satisfaction and maintaining strong relationships with its clients. They work closely with companies to develop custom solutions that meet their specific needs and provide ongoing support to ensure that their chips perform to the highest standards. Overall, Razi Incorporated has set a new standard for excellence in the computer chip industry. Its innovative designs and superior performance have made it a go-to choice for companies looking to stay ahead of the curve, and its commitment to customer satisfaction has helped it build a loyal following of clients. As technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace, Razi Incorporated is well positioned to continue leading the charge with its groundbreaking chips. So, okay, first, we have a code from that. Second, again, you just have to throw that out at the end where the f*** that means. Second, the quote here, the human brain can function just like a computer chip, employee JM, is the quote from the interview. So now we have a, at least some initials to the name of the guy in the interview, JM, whoever the f*** that is. But we also have confirmation that they are developing AI neural networks too, which is obviously what Julian is. I'm going to throw out my half cooked gamer theory, but I think that this guy's fucking like consciousness is in Julian because he's kind of touched on. And I think the girl and the, the daughter who died were the guy's wife and daughter. I don't know. It's just a game theory. But I got a feeling, ooh. We got one more article before we go to the secret website. And then we actually got two codes from that. And there's the third code set in here. The new game takes the world by storm. Jumping Julian. How the fuck is Jumping Julian of all things taking the world by storm? How? How? Imagine if they played Sponge Glock. Their fucking little brains would explode. In recent months, a new game has taken the internet by storm, captivating the attention of kids and adults alike. Jumping Julian, created by Dreamer Studios and developed by John Monkford, is a platformer game that has gained immense popularity in a short period of time. One of the game's biggest draws is its addictive gamma play. Jumping Julian is easy to pick up but difficult to master, making players want to keep trying until they beat a level. However, as with any popular game, parents are skeptical about the impact it may have on their children. Many worry that their kids are becoming addicted to the game and spending too much time playing it. Overall, Jumping Julian is a fun and exciting game that has taken the internet by storm. While parents may be skeptical of its impact on their children, it's important to recognize the potential benefits of gaming and to set appropriate boundaries. With its addictive gamma play and positive messaging, Jumping Julian is sure to remain a fan favorite for years to come. The takeaway from this, we, we have another code, but also, this was posted June 24th, 1998. This is post the car accident. Kind of support my theory a little bit. Just saying, Jumping Julian was made after the car accident. What happens if we load up Jumping Julian again? Hello there. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. I love when people play with me. Use the arrow keys and space bar to help me make my way up to the top. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, nothing. Nothing happens. So what do we do first? Do we go to the secret website or the documents? I think the secret website's first. Surfer! Error. HTTPS No, dude. That's the right... That's the right thing. What? Isn't that the right thing? Okay, I got the link. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 98XX world. It won't let me go to the website! 
That's the exact, that's the exact right thing. You can fucking suck my dick. Jumping Julian, piece of shit. Fine, I'll just put it in these funky codes. God damn, we have three codes. Let's start off with four, five, six. Wait, I just realized all the codes in the websites are counting to nine. <laughs> They're all counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Motherfucker. Is this like the, uh, the admin code right here? There's something we're missing, fellas. There's something we're missing right now. 100% something that we're missing. Maybe I'm just being fucked with. Let me try uh, doing a little, little restart. Like, we're, we're almost there. We, we have so many of the puzzle pieces. And I know for a fact that there has to be more. There has to be. Like, why the fuck is this motherfucker teaching me how to count to 10? What are you looking at? Wait, you can click on the numbers, but not anything else. Wait, the fuck? Seven, eight, nine. The mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Razi Inc. Wait, 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 wait. Jason Storm, but the, the initials were JM, weren't they? So it's not the guy who said the computer chip thing. It's this, this might be a completely unrelated guy. And there's another code in here, one, two, three. Let's just listen to this. In early October of 1998, Jason Storm. He disappeared four days Razi after I was born. Incorporated, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Storm, a promising young engineer, was last seen headed to the company's warehouse, where he was scheduled to work on a new project. When he failed to return, his colleagues raised the alarm and a search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day, and has left his family, friends, and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Rumors and speculation have swirled around the incident, with some suggesting foul play and others pointing to a potential accident or technical malfunction. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some have even speculated that Razi Incorporated may have played a role in Storm's disappearance. However, the company has strongly denied any involvement and has cooperated fully with the authorities in their investigation. The case has remained open, with Holy authorities shit, continuing that to search scared for the any fuck out of that me. may help shed light oh, on what I happened to Jason Storm. Meanwhile, the ah. loved ones continue to hold out hope that he may one day be found alive and well. The disappearance of Jason Storm has had a profound impact on those who knew him, and has served as a reminder of the dangers that can lurk in even the most seemingly secure and mundane of workplaces. It has also raised important questions about workplace safety and the responsibilities of employers to ensure the well-being of their employees. While the case may remain unsolved, the memory of Jason Storm lives on, and his disappearance continues to serve as a cautionary tale about the importance of workplace safety and the need for companies to prioritize the well-being of their employees. All right, so let's just like, piece some things together. Jason Storm was a employee for the microchip company that makes the microchips, microchimps that are in the new XX98 systems. Uh, that are also capable of neural network and AI operations. Uh, and people are suspect. People are really suspect about the dis dis disappearance. Uh, we have a one, two, three in here as well, though. So let's click on that. Oh, God. Please don't jump scare me. Please don't jump scare me, please. Oh, the rise and fall of Jumping Julian, a cautionary tale of game development. What? Oh, wait, August 12th? Isn't that right before the accident? In the world of video games, success can be fleeting. Dude, stop One doing that, the man! Talk of the town, the next year yesterday's news. This was the case stop. for Jumping Julian, the once popular game created by John Monkford that quickly fell out of favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gamma play. However, as players began to spend more time with the game, they started to notice some serious design flaws. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gamma play, which featured frustrating controls and repetitive level design. Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. The poor design choices were not lost on players, and reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. One person in particular, Jason Storm, left an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken and depressed. John the negative Monkford. feedback proved to be too much for Monkford, who struggled to cope with the criticism. 
After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business and pursue other opportunities. Monkford landed a job at Razi Incorporated, a company known for its innovative. That's the guy from the interview. While he may have left the game development world behind, no way. his experience with Jumping Julian taught him valuable lessons about the importance of listening to feedback and constantly striving to improve. The downfall of Jumping Julian serves as a cautionary tale for game developers everywhere. It's a reminder that success can be fleeting, and that even the most promising games can quickly fall out of favor if they fail to live up to player expectations. Dude, that was a f***ing bomb drop! So, what? John Munkford was the guy who created Jumping Julian, but also the man from the interview who spoke on it was quoted in the Razia, whatever the f*** the name is for the company who makes the chips. He was quoted on their website for saying that the human brain is a lot like a microchip. Bro. And then John Storm, what did he do? Cr critique the game? Jason Storm. He left a bad review and it destroyed John Monkford. Fuck. Okay, wait, we have another, we have another one, two, three in here. This one's kind of hard to find though. Where'd that one go? One, two, three. Next website. Oh, the suicide outbreak at Razi Inc. Ooh, if you don't stop. Ooh, it's a da, 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 da. November 10th. 1998. In a shocking turn of events, several employees at Razi Incorporated have committed suicide while playing the game Jumping Julian. The game, created by former employee John Monkford, has been linked to the deaths of multiple staff members, leaving the company reeling and the gaming community in shock. The first reported suicide occurred in late October of 1998, when a Razi Incorporated employee was found dead in his office surrounded by screens showing Jumping Julian. At the time, the incident was considered an isolated case and was attributed to personal issues rather than the game itself. However, over the next few weeks, several more employees took their own lives while playing the game. Concerned staff members raised the alarm and the company sent out a memo advising employees to avoid playing the game altogether. As the death toll continued to rise, Razi Incorporated management began to investigate the matter more closely. They discovered that John Monkford, the game's creator, had included subliminal messages in the game that appeared to have triggered the suicidal the behavior in some players. In response, the company contacted the police and launched a search for Monkford. However, when they finally located him, they discovered that he too had taken his own life. The suicides at Razi Incorporated have sent shockwaves through the gaming industry, raising important questions about the responsibilities of game developers and the potential risks associated with immersive gamma play. It has also highlighted the need for companies to take a closer look at the content of the games they produce, and ensure that they are not promoting harmful behavior or causing undue harm to players. The tragedy has also underscored the importance of mental health in the workplace, and the need for companies to provide support and resources for employees who may be struggling with personal issues. In the wake of the suicides, Razi Incorporated has issued a public apology and has committed to taking a more proactive role in the safety ensuring the and well-being of its employees. The company has pledged to work with mental health experts to develop better policies and procedures for identifying and addressing mental health issues in the workplace. The suicides at Razi Incorporated serve as a sobering reminder of the potential risks and consequences associated with game development. It is a tragedy that has left a lasting impact on the company and the gaming community as a whole, and has raised important questions about the ethics and responsibilities of game developers. Dude, this is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. So, oh my God. John Monkford, first of all, we can pretty much say that Jason Storm disappeared because he critiqued the fuck out of Jumping Julian and it, it, it threw John Monkford into a rage and he definitely had him whacked. But he gave this, he made this AI subliminally make people want a toaster bath. Why would he do that? Not cool. Not cool, Monkford. There's another website. Oh, dude, I love this. This rabbit hole is sick. One more website, huh? Oh, no, there's more. Jesus Christ. We're getting the full story. Razi Inc. shuts down after suicide incident. Razi I Incorporated was once Razi a leading I. computer chip company known for their innovative designs and cutting-edge technology. However, the company's success was short-lived. 
In 1998, several employees at Razi I Incorporated committed suicide while playing Jumpin' Billion, <laughs> a game created by Sorry. John Monkford, who had previously worked for the company. The tragic incident sent shockwaves through the gaming community and beyond, leading to an investigation by the police and intense scrutiny of the gaming industry as a whole. It was discovered that the game had a hidden code that triggered suicidal tendencies in some players, leading to their tragic deaths. The revelation sparked a wave of panic and fear among gamers and game developers, with many calling for increased regulation and oversight of the industry. In the wake of the incident, Razi I Incorporated was forced to shut down, and the company's assets were sold off to other companies. One of the most sought-after assets of Razi I Incorporated were their revolutionary computer chips. These chips were highly coveted by gaming companies, who saw the potential for their use in developing new and exciting games. Many of these chips were distributed to other companies, allowing them to continue pushing the boundaries of gaming technology. However, the incident at Razi I Incorporated serves as a stark reminder of the dark side of gaming. While video games can be a source of entertainment and joy, they can also have serious consequences, if not handled responsibly. It is essential that game developers and companies prioritize the safety and well-being of their players, and that regulatory bodies enforce strict guidelines to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Wow. Wow! Fuck you! Stop it! Breathing in my fucking ear like that, dog. Shit. Give me goosebumps. Damn, making me nervous. So what we have so far is that John Monkford created this game, Jumping Julian, and he implanted subliminal messaging into this AI. Jumping Julian's definitely an AI, and maybe it got out of control. Maybe he didn't do it. Maybe it did it itself, and he's just taking the fall. But with him getting rid of Jason Storm for critiquing the game, and I guarantee you that's what happened. I don't know, man. I think he did it on purpose. The answer that we need is a why. Maybe we'll get it in the next next website. Downloading. We got a video. Yes. Video player. Hey! Okay, okay, I bought it. God. Oh, okay, he's saying Morse code to me. Let me let me let me try to translate it. Try to get a Morse code translator, but I'm not kidding. I only have one bar of LTE. All I got out of this so far is I eat. I eat what, John Monkford? It's too fast. I can't, I can't, I can't. Someone tell me what it means in the comments. I got I eat. I'm gonna be, imagine it means I eat big old fucking nuts. So I eat balls and cocks or something. But we can look at the QR code. Oh God. You want me to download this fucking text, text file? What the fuck is this, Jumping Julian? Hit me with a hexadecimal. The quick brown fox jumps over 13 lazy dogs, really? That's what you had to say? Oh, no, that was the default. Okay, this is actually what it says. I wander in darkness, but never in light. I get to their heads and feed off of their anger. You wish to find me, I know you do. Seek out these places and look very hard. Okay. So we got another game. We have three different games. So we gotta look for clues. I wonder if I mean I doubt I need to buy the games, right? This would be a, this would be a cheeky way to get me to fucking buy your game. Wrap it up in some delicious big old juicy ARG. Well, let's start with the first game, Trevor the Dragon. <laughs> okay, the cast: Trevor, Princess, at uh, Prince Toffer, Prince Ella. Okay. What do I? What do I? Uh... Oh, I throw spears and walk around. Okay. All right, we got to spear this dragon. Take that, Trevor! Piece of shit! Hey! Dude, what is this 88, 98XX shit turn into? Oh, I hit the fucking goddamn fireball. Don't worry, princess. I will save you from thy wretched dragon. Come on, how do I, uh, how do I get more spears? There we go. All right, here we go. Oh my God, I missed them all. Yes! 
I got the princess! Oh, we're killing it. We are freaking killing it, dude. We're so good at uh, Trevor the Dragon. <laughs> Just gotta keep strafing and keep them keep them spears coming, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got the princess. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, he's, he's cracked. He's disgusting. Oh, I beat the high score. Let's go. When when does this end though? Like I can do this all day, but I mean. Oh, I hit escape and an exit. Oh no! I lost my Trevor the Dragon progress. I got the high score though. I got the high score. Not swinging. Oh. Well, guys, I mean, listen, I really can't be fucked to go play this developer's other three games to figure out what else is going on. I do want to get a little bit of confirmation on something, if I can, real quick. For the gamer theory, this car accident was on the same day, August 12th, 1998, that this article was published. And I guarantee you the person in that car accident was John Monkford, the creator of Jumping Julian. I think... I think that maybe he was so passionate about this this fucking AI ga and game that he was building. He was so passionate about his fucking game that at first it, all it was was it was Jason Storm. Boom. Fine. Fuck you. I'll eat him. I think he ate him. I don't know if he ate him, but I think that he put a bit of himself into this fucking into this Julian guy. I think if Julian was to go to McDonald's, he would order the little fucking freak meal. And I think that after this article on August 12th, 1998, John Monkford got in his car, drunk drove, and fucking clapped two people. They don't name him in the report, but I guarantee you John Monkford was the motherfucker who did it. I guarantee you. And he used to literally work at the factory that made these computer chips. We know that he used to work there from the, from the article on the manufacturer's website where he not as directly named, but JM is initial next to him talking about the AI capabilities, how it's basically a human. Now, the only thing that I, I cannot figure out why is why did somebody dig up the two car crash victims? And that happened in 1999 after the closing of the, the computer chip manufacturer, Razai or whatever it is. And it happened after the toaster bath of John Monkford. But I know that, that, that these two people, these two little goobers who went, ah, so silly, I'm gonna die in a car accident. They were the ones being dug up. There's my game theory, 98XX. If you have any more info on it, let me know down in the comments. I know there's plenty more, but I mean, listen, I'm not gonna go play your other fucking games to figure it out. Sorry, you lost me there. You lost me there. Super good though. Super interesting. Super well done. It's got me, got me fucking uh, bricked up. It's got me bricked up. I love that. What a good time. Let me know down in the comments of what you thought about this whole rabbit hole and what your theories are, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain about mine. It's, there's still some pieces missing though. And I know the story is still being fleshed out, but I think what we got so far is pretty, I think it's pretty spot on what I'm, what I'm guessing, what my gamer theory is, but it's all for today. All right. Love you guys. See you next time.